So much fanfare to welcome Neil MacDonald, who sat in the Limerick dugout for the first time, but it was Willie Boland who continued an interim charge. Neither will have enjoyed the opening exchange as Dundalk pressurised from the off. Duffy's cheeky lob headed goalwards. It meant that Brendan Clark felt no other option but to handle outside the area. He was instantly dismissed as a result. Ten-man Limerick up against it now for all of 70-plus minutes. Freddie Hall came in for a rare appearance as Lee Lynch was sacrificed. McDonald was vocal from the touchline. His wall and keeper managed to keep Dundalk at bay early on, but the champions scored four against Sligo a week ago, sensed that goals could have again been on the cards at Markets Field. They were patient in their build-up play against Limerick and Patrick McElhaney operating out wide left, teased and toyed with the Limerick players. Eventually he drew the foul and he drew the penalty too. Paul McLaughlin in no doubt pointing to the spot. David McMillan has been in form of late. He coolly dispatched the spot kick with the keeper Hall diving the wrong way. One up settled the nerves of the travelling fans. Dundalk were looking much more composed now. Shields was linking well with Vermoeland and Duffy operating wide right was having a field day. He supplied this one bang on for McMillan to head in his second of the night. Memory committed more numbers to defence in the second half, but they could never stem the tide of Dundalk chances. Macmillan was to clip a crossbar soon after the resumption. And shortly after that, he again forced the replacement keeper to be at full stretch to deny him what would have been Dundalk and his own third of the evening from just outside the box. They were creating plenty of chances. The champions, Stephen Kenny, was surely wondering why his side were not further in front. Duffy toised and teased the Limerick players throughout the contest. As the season progresses, he's fast becoming a key man for the County Louds side. This cross, when it eventually came in, almost ended up in the back of the net via the Limerick defender, Dean Clark. Again, Hall had to be on guard to snuff out the danger. The natives looked unsettled. Dundalk seemed intent to get at least three on the night. This time the chance came via the opposite flank. Massey's centre ran for Shields, but he too was thwarted by the dive of Hall. Good to see Shields with a little bit more confidence in his play. If at first, though, you don't succeed, well, on Friday night at least, Limerick would cough up another error. It led to yet another Dundalk chance. It was Shields again, but again, it was Hall to deny him. The champions, though, signed off on the night with a much-deserved third and final goal. It came in the final minute of normal time. It was good interchange play from McGrath, Gannon, Duffy and Shields before eventually Duffy threaded the needle and Gannon pulled it through. 3-0, a fine effort. Perhaps it came too late, though, for some to appreciate. And so, Neil MacDonald's opening night in the Limerick dugout would end in disappointment. But champions Dundalk are looking more and more like their own selves. 3-0 it finished in the champions' favour at Markets Field on Friday night.